okay so welcome to the platform of the silent way par professional accountancy region today i'm going to discuss about acc taxation topic basic income tax in which we, we will be learning how to find out the taxable income and then calculating the liability for that so moving towards some questions that i will be solving in front of you on excel that is mandatory for acca cbe okay question number 1 ethan received trading income of 110000 pounds in the tax year 2122 he also made gift aid donations of 4000 gross compute ethan's taxable income for the tax year 2122 so um, let's do it on excel just wait for a while okay it's here so the income that they have provided okay in the question it depends upon the examiner he can provide to you with number of incomes or he can give you any one depends okay so currently in this question we are having trading income okay so trading income is a part of non savings income we have three types of income saving non saving savings income and the dividend okay then total up here so currently in, in this question we are having the trading income that is 110 half all right so next information is he made gift aid donations of 4000 so let's do the working over here trading income is 110000 okay this is his that you can see that total income okay he is having further no other income so total income would be the same okay now from here we will be subtracting the personal allowance and personal allowance as per the fiscal year that is 12570 but he will not be given the full fiscal uh, he will not be given the full personal allowance according to the fiscal year because his income is you can see sub of 1 lakh but to know about it we are supposed to find out the adjusted net income and if the adjusted net income is more than 1 lakh then personal al allowance will be reduced so adjusting net income trading income is 110000 out of which he has donated and gifted donation and always take the gross amount even if the net amount is given you will first convert it into the gross amount dividing it with 0.8 okay that's the formula that i'm telling so you need the gross amount always okay and due to uh, personal pension contributions and the gift aid donations the uh, tax pens also increase but this thing i'll be uh, covering in the next questions where we will be finding out the liability then you will understand the implication so uh, you will get the adjusted net income now the adjusted net income is 106000 and we can see that the threshold that is more than uh, 1 lakh so you know to find out the reduction in personal allowance is actually the next working okay so we know that as per the fiscal year 21 22 12570 that will be given into your tax table okay and now the reduction thing how much it is supposed to reduce so we are going to open the brackets 106000 all right minus 1 2 3 4 5 1 lakh 1 lakh is the threshold we are going to check the difference and then you are going to divide it with 0.5 that's the 50% that we are uh, taking so this is the reduction okay and now how how much personal allowance will be subtracted from the total income so 12570 minus 
nine five seven zero will be deducted from you that's how i'm linking up the answers and in your exam you should also do that so now you will be having your taxable income and the question is going to stop this here you can drag it down fine okay now moving towards question number two okay Ellie received employment income. Employment income is also part of NSI non-savings income. In the tax year, she also made gift donations of sixteen thousand. So for this, you are also supposed to find out the taxable income. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to just copy out the format. And I am going to just put in the figures. It's one twenty-five. Definitely, uh, same procedure will happen. Okay. number two the here we are having the employment income that is 125 now can you see how the uh, answers change like because I have linked it up okay so I would request all the students to do the same so 125,000 she has made gifted donations I'm just replacing the figure Gift aid donation sixteen thousand gross. I need the gross, and I'm getting hundred and nine thousand. Okay, so uh, the personal allowance thing, the formula according to that. Okay, hundred and nine thousand J fifteen minus one lakh over fifty percent. That's how it's reduced, and now this is my taxable income. Fine. Okay. Let's move on. Now the next step is to find out the income tax liability. When you are having your taxable income, so now uh, we will be applying some tax band, some percentages, okay, according to the tax band, so that we can find out that how much a taxpayer is liable to pay income tax to HMRC. If a taxpayer is having non-savings income, so basic rate will be 20%, higher will be 40. We are having the thresholds for that as well. That is given into the tax table. Here they are. Okay, if your income falls in the first 37,700 uh, pounds band, so this is the basic rate band and you will be taxed 20%. Okay, if it's higher in between uh, 37,700 and 1 till 150, so 40% and after that you will be counted as the additional one. This is for non-savings income. Okay, now question number three. Amir has taxable trading income of this amount, employment income of this. So, uh, Trading income, employment income, we will add to get the total income, no savings or dividend. Now find out the income tax liability. Okay. So question number three. NSI, okay. He is having no savings dividend. They have already told this thing. So just according to the format, I am writing total over here. Okay. All right, so let's do it. Let, let's do it here. What is he's having? Trading income. Next, employment income. Forty-three, seven, five, seven thousand. If there will be uh, some. If there will be some savings or dividend, then in the total you are going to add it. Like if I show you this thing, this thing will become this. Add it up like this. But right now is we're not having anything, so you can directly link it as well. So total income. It's not more than one lakh. Okay. So the personal allowance will be. Full that is twelve thousand five seventy. Okay. Then you will be having your taxable income. This chronology is really important. Okay. 
because in MCQs, if it asks you for the taxable income and you have found out the income tax liability, there must be some option that examiner would be giving to confuse you. So do not get confused into that. Now, just look at the answer. That is 38,195. Now see how will that be taxed. V very important. Income tax liability. We are finding. Okay. Just like I uh, showed you over here that the first 37,700, they are falling into the basic rate band. Unless or until the, you know, the tax thing is not done from the bottom, it's, it's not right. Okay. It should be done the bottom should get filled first and then you will be going upon the next slice okay the first slice of tax you can understand it like that the first layer of tax is going to be on the first 37 7 and that is the basic so the uh, taxable income is 38195 now see out of this 38195 first we will be taxing 37 700 okay 20 percent This is now the differential, okay? The different, well, not the total one. I should link up the NSI, okay? And this is now out of this thing, thirty-seven seven hundred has already been taxed at twenty percent. So now the differential amount will be taxed at forty percent, and that's how I'm going to drag the formula, okay? And here I'll get the total, okay? 38,195 total it being this one will fall into the basic rate okay and the next would be on the higher I hope you understand okay so total that is so the total income tax liability total income tax liability is 7,700 okay students make many mistakes over here they are just going to say oh 38195 it's he's a higher rate taxpayer just put 40 percent you will get wrong answer like that okay so this is the correct way okay question number four trading income employment income no savings dividend income same type of question so let's copy paste the format while practice you can do so Okay, I have done, uh, have we done question number four, question number one, question number two was about L, then we did Amir, that is, what was that, have I missed, okay, I missed the Amir question, I think, so I'm doing the Amir question over here, okay, two double one six five. 21165 employment income is 3000 okay and what else is there nothing else so personal allowance will be given in full and what will happen with the taxable income now you can see it's 11595 it's in the basic so what we are going to do with it we will be doing this thing that basic okay we will be linking it up here okay 20 percent that's all no higher nothing so if you want to clear the contents or delete this part you can do it easily total income and this is the total income tax liability okay question number five we are having trading income we are having employment income no savings no dividend okay but this question will be a learning question for you so paste it again
okay so the trading income is 135,000 here I put in it here then the next is employment income is 33,680 okay so total income now we know that personal allowance cannot be 12,570 so because there there is no uh, personal pension contribution or no gifted donation information provided so we are going to take this total income as the adjusted net income okay so now for the reduction of personal allowance i think let's do it again instead of copy pasting it so that you can correct it the personal allowance as per fiscal year 2122 it is 12570 the reduction formula what was that that was your total in uh, like your total income minus 1 2 3 4 5 one lakh so two in bracket 0 okay one thing let me tell you whenever you get an answer like more than 12570 or your um, income actually that that thing is given into the tax table as well that if your income is more than 125140 personal allowance would be zero so just by looking at this total income you can decide that it's zero and besides putting a zero write down your assumption why have you taken the zero you can show this working as well because you know if you will subtract this thing this will, this will give you a negative figure and we are not going to subtract any negative figure from the total income okay because personal allowance is given by hmrc to reduce your income tax liability fine not to increase it so whenever your income is more than 125140 pounds so simply personal allowance will be nil and you can write down that the adjusted net income exceeds pounds 125140 simple okay so personal allowance would be nil over here so that is the taxable income now by just looking at the total figure you can tell it's more than 150000 so he is an additional rate tax payer okay but now how will his income tax um, liability will be calculated the first 37700 will fall into the basic band correct now the higher rate higher rate is still 150000 Okay, so what we'll be doing? Just look at the formula. I'll be putting one fifty thousand out of one fifty thousand. This is already taxed. And now there is some additional part. So additional rates. And what is that? One fifty is taxed. Now what is the additional? Here it is. So one fifty thousand subtracted, and it will be put on at forty five percent. So now let's do the total IPL. When we will be sum it up, then you can know that how much income actually are taken. So no mistakes are taken. Correct? Matching? Fine. Total. Okay. So sixty thousand eight sixty six will be given. Okay. Next. Fernanda is employed on an annual salary of one lakh. This is the employment income. Okay, it's a very good question. How much additional income tax would Fernanda have paid if, in addition to her annual salary, she had received a taxable performance bonus of twenty-five thousand? So, where should I record this performance bonus? Performance bonus is a part of NSI. Okay, like employment income. So, two situations are there. when she is receiving the performance bonus and other one is when she is not receiving so then we are actually checking out the impact on income tax so question number 6 okay now the first one let's make it nsi and the first okay first situation is with bonus okay and other one let's do it here without bonus okay with bonus nsi and there is no savings nothing else nothing else 
so directly we can do the total here and no need for that as well and nsi okay and the total we are having employment income first is one lakh okay okay then bonus is there with bonus so that is 25000 so what what is the total that is becoming okay this is the total income 125000 now what will happen with the personal allowance as there is no uh, other information provided so total income will be the adjusted net income so personal allowance will get reduced because it is more than more than like uh, you know it's more than basically 1 lakh so the differential amount would be let me do the working over here and you know you have okay but you are directly linking it up so you can label w1 or depends so 125000 to link it up minus 1 lakh and this is this so actually the reduction would be So this seventy is going to be. You can label it fiscal year twenty one twenty two, and this is the reduction. This is your C. Okay. Then you will be having your taxable income. Okay, which will be your taxable income. So this is one two four nine three zero. Now we have to find out the income tax liability. So into the basic rate, thirty seven seven hundred will go. Okay, and let's multiply. Then in the higher rate, the limit is still one fifty thousand. So we can see the taxable income is less than one fifty thousand. So we will take on the differential. Total ICL okay. Now we have to compare it with the case when there is no bonus. So when there is no bonus, NSI that would be the same. Uh, let's just link it up, link it up really fast. Employment income, okay. NSI would still be one lakh. same will go with the total no bonus you can just write bonus and you can add a zero so that examiner may know what you are doing total income what will be the total income total income would be 1 lakh okay 1 lakh plus zero let's say right the personal allowance it's not exceeding 1 lakh so personal allowance will be given in full 12570 taxable income okay. 87430 so this basic rate working would be the same And what will happen with the higher rate? By the way, the link up would be eighty-seven four thirty minus this. Okay, so you will be having. So your total liability would become twenty-seven four thirty-two. So let's take on the difference. That how much additional is she paying when she is receiving the bonus? Fifteen thousand. extra tax she is paying like when she is um you know receiving the bonus and when she is not receiving the bonus so then she is uh, supposed to only pay 27432 
ओके अक्रम हैज टेक्सिबल ट्रेडिंग इनकम ऑफ फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड एट सेवेंटी ट्रेडिंग इनकम एम्प्लॉयमेंट इनकम नो अदर इनकम इन पे ऑफ एटी पाउंड सो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन योर ओन एंड वन थिंग विच विल बी डूइंग इज फ्रॉम वेयर यू विल बी डिडक्टिंग द पे थिंग वंस यू हैव फाउंड आउट द इनकम टैक्स लाइब्रिटी ना हेयर देन यू विल सब्ट्रैक्ट द पे इन गेट द इनकम टैक्स पे ओके ओके लेट्स डू दिस Employment and trading. So, copy. Let's see. Copy this. Question number seven. I think. Yes. Okay. So in this question, he has the trading income of forty-one eight seventy. Then he's having employment income of one double two five zero. The total income gets fifty-four one twenty, out of which he will get the entire personal allowance. Okay. Then this is the taxable income. So thirty-seven seven hundred would remain here. Forty-one five fifty. This. Into forty percent, there will be no additional rate. Okay, so now you have found out the total uh, IT and out of which you will deduct the PE that is given to me to you in the question eighty, and then you will get income tax payable. Okay, nine thousand. This is the tax actually you will be paying. Okay, so for today, I think um, let me keep it till here, and in the next video, I will be adding up like the savings and the dividend income, and then we will be learning its dynamics and what difference actually it will make up. Okay, till till now, I think that's fine. Um, do give me your uh, feedback. Do let me know. Okay. um did you practice upon or you felt like easy going and after watching the video like do let me know about how much it helped you okay thank you